guys, how is everyone doing today? I just got off the plane coming from London. It was like a 10 hour flight and we are in Vancouver right now. I'm in some hallway where there's literally no one else and I don't know if I'm, I think I'm going the right way. Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comment section below. I made it through that 10 hour flight like a champ. I got upgraded to first class somehow. I don't know how. Let me tell you, first class. The amount of free snacks and leg room you get, geez. I have way too much energy though. I still need a three hour layover and a three hour flight before I get back home. As always, make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoy the video. But I think I still need to go through security. I think. Hello, bonjour. Hi, how you doing? Good. Good morning, Pastor. Uh, talk about that. So now comes the part of the vlog where I go through depression because we're back in Canada. Seriously, England. I love you guys. That was just the best place I've ever been to in my life, that is for sure. The flight back was actually, like not just the, the flight, but the scenery from the flight was beautiful. England though, also beautiful. Let's just say Premier League season this kicks off. Middle of August, so might be back for that. Word on the street is there's a pretty awesome package waiting for me at home. Actually pretty excited to get it, open it up, crack it open, unbox it. I guess we're still like 2,000 miles away from home though, so first we should probably make it back. <sighs> we're going back to Winnipeg, I am so dep- wow. Winnipeg, I love you, but you also suck. You really, really suck. gonna lie I'd rather still be in London but it looks like I brought the good weather back with me it was cloudy and rainy all week here apparently and now it's beautiful and sunny so I'm not complaining about that I had a shower changed my clothes I am feeling good seriously I'll say it one more time and then I'm done London was amazing I want to go back there thank you for the support in London actually speaking of going back there this is what I'm thinking of I was putting this out on Twitter just throwing around thinking out loud um, London in the middle of August for like a week and a half and then fly to Hong Kong for a week and a half and then SneakerCon Melbourne is September 2nd so I could fly there and go there for a week and a half so I could go London to Hong Kong to Melbourne back to Winnipeg for like a month the, how fun would that be oh my goodness wow that would be crazy I've never been to Hong Kong and I've never been to Australia so both of those would be incredible cities to go to especially Hong Kong because like that would be my first experience of a non white western city for lack of a better term like that would be my brother freaked me out that would be really cool actually yeah we're doing that well maybe possibly I'll have to check how explain I'll have to check how expensive plane tickets are that's basically wow that wow that would I don't even know how to verbalize sentences anymore. What I'm trying to say is that would be an amazing trip. Hopefully I'm able to do that. As I did say though, we have an amazing unboxing waiting for us back at home. Well, actually right there. I'm at home right now, so I actually don't know what's in it. So hopefully it's amazing. That'll be a little bit disappointing if it wasn't amazing. Who am I kidding? It's amazing. Let's check it out. And this is the part of the show where I show you a whole bunch of crap that we're Unboxing. Well, some of it isn't unboxed. Uh, that's my address. Don't want to show you that. Uh, I don't know what's inside this package here. Uh, I really have no idea. It's a big box. It's a heavy box. And we got a whole bunch of shirts in London. I'll show you those. This is an anti-swoosh boost club. This is from a kid named Ari e. Kagan. Ari e. Keegan. Um, I forget how to pronounce your last name, but he's a real cool dude. I met a guy that knew him in New York, and then I was able to meet him in person in London. And he gave me this t-shirt. This is his brand. And then I got a whole bunch of shirts from Butter Movement. Butter Movement. Butter Movement. If you guys don't know what's up with Butter Movement, just search up hashtag Butter Movement or search up Shoe Butter. They're doing really good things, they're doing really cool things in Shoe Butter. Geez, that man's collection. What do we got inside? Woo! We got a pair of shoes. We got a pair of shoes. Um, stickers of teddy bears. Okay, cool. This is from a clothing brand, I guess. Uh, here is all of their information, all of their information right here if you guys want to go check them out. I also have their link down in the description. I actually don't know what they sent me. They sent me a shoebox though. Here is 
They sent me a hat. Uh, I don't really wear hats, but I'll definitely give this to someone who does wear hats. Uh, this doesn't even look that bad on me. I'm just not a hat guy. This I will wear. Let me tell you, you need a few of these when living in Winnipeg. We don't wear these stylishly. We wear these so we don't freeze our ears off. This is pretty dope. This is cool. Uh, this is a hoodie. It's got like the bear logo on it too, but then it's also like a, a Native American headdress on it. That's actually, th this is pretty dope. I will definitely wear this. That Ooh -hoo -hoo! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Javier. I really appreciate it. Bang. They sent me a good pair of shoes. Okay, let's take a look at these. Yeah, we know what this box is. We know what the, how many stickers did they send me? This is a LeBron 11 box. Now this is a colorway that I actually already own. I don't care though, because as amazing as it may seem, you, you look behind here, that bottom shelf, that shelf, there, I, I have 25 pairs of LeBron 11. I have 35 pairs of LeBron 11 sitting there. This is like pair number 36, I guess. And I've never played basketball in, in my life. Uh, I don't know how that's happened. I don't know how that's worked out. I've just never played basketball in a pair of LeBron 11s. I'm going to play basketball in these. These are brand... Spe okay, well, maybe they were worn once. I don't even care. I'm going to play basketball in these. This is amazing. Seriously, thank you, Javier. Thank you, Cause and Effect Clothing. Definitely go check them out. This is a really dope hoodie. It's thick. It's good quality. I don't know how you got... Like, you're from California, the brand. How do you wear this in California without sweating to death? This is... Seriously, guys, thank you for sending this out. I'm going to be playing basketball in these. I normally wear a size 13 in LeBron 11s, and this is a size 12. Hopefully these fit all right. I mean, I'll make them. Oh, yeah, these fit the little bit tight I Can make them work for basketball. I will make them work for basketball Look how fire these look on feet though like seriously These are this is one of my favorite colorways of the sneaker and I just got a second pair for free Thank you very much for sending that out. That, that, that's incredibly nice like look at this shoe you have all the crazy graffiti designs and red swoosh and red sock liner and the crazy shank plate there on the bottom. This is like, look at the designs on this shoe. I love these. These went on clearance. Yeah, there's a bit of scraping on the swoosh there. I don't care. Like I said, I'm gonna play basketball in these. I am, wow, I'm very appreciative of this. Thank you. You guys didn't have to send this out. Like sending the clothing was really cool and dope. And then you just put the cherry on top by sending out one of my favorite shoes. And now I actually get a chance to play basketball in them without messing up my other pair of graffitis that I have. Let's just say graffiti season. They're like, seriously, these are, Look at how nice these shoes are. It's a, it's a very nice pair of shoes. Thank you guys for all the clothing. Hat, toque, hoodie, like a million stickers. I really do, seriously, thank you. Thank you very much. Seriously, like huge shout out to Cause and Effect Clothing, the guys over there, Oscar and Javier, for first off sending over the clothes. This hoodie is very, very dope. I'll be wearing that toque in the winter, beanie, whatever you guys call it, and then the hat I will definitely give to someone that is going to use it. But the shoes, guys, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is a very meaningful pair of shoes to me. These were releasing my senior year of high school. That was when this shoe was out. So obviously, hey, Sorry, no worries at all. So obviously I have some good memories behind it. And uh, yeah, I have 35 freaking pairs of it. So I guess 36 now. Thank you guys for sending this over. I have a basketball game tomorrow. 100% gonna be wearing these in the basketball game. Uh, I just, I, I only have one pair of each color, so I never wanted to like completely just trash a pair of playing basketball. I know that makes no sense, but I don't know, that's just how I felt. So now I have a second pair of them. That is amazing. That's pretty much all I have to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you continue to have a great rest of your day. If you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Also, I think I'm gonna be doing a couple giveaways on Instagram this week, so make sure to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TheRealRayRay20. As always, I will be back tomorrow with a brand new video. Actually, you know, one more thing. Let me know, what is your favorite pair of shoes to play basketball in? Because I have a feeling this is gonna become my favorite pair of shoes to play basketball in. Right now, it's the LeBron 10 Soldier or maybe the Dero 6. Those are my two go-to basketball shoes right now, except I feel like I'm gonna play in these a few times and it's a good basketball shoe and I have like a nostalgic connection or an emotional connection to it, if you will. So I think this is gonna be a pretty good option. But anyway, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new video, so until then, Peace.